Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, November 1st. It is 5.28 a.m. and <laughs> my dog is licking my hand because she knows I'm leaving. Uh, we are heading out now for So Magical. So today is going to be part one of our trip. We are going to end up in North Carolina to visit my sister, stay there for the night, and then we will head out to uh, Orlando in the morning. So here goes our adventure. First part of our trip is done. We have made it to North Carolina, 639 miles. I am currently eating Reese's peanut butter cups because we haven't eaten a meal all day, but that's all right. We are more than halfway to Orlando and we're at my sister's and I'm gonna introduce you to her dog because he's just really cute. Hi, Hudson. Hudson, come here. Come here. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You gonna say hello? Say hello. You're famous on YouTube, buddy. So that is it for today, to tomorrow, to, to, to tomorrow. Tomorrow we head to Orlando and Thursday we do set up. It's Wednesday, it's day two of traveling. I have 637 miles to go. I am very tired. I did not sleep great last night, um, but that's okay. Sleeping next to a big dog is very different than sleeping at home next to two little dogs. So we have a long day ahead of us. And that's all right though. By tonight, we will be in our hotel in Orlando and tomorrow we set up. Finally, we made it to Orlando. It is um, 5.30, quarter to six, I think. Um, so after two very long days of about 11 hours of driving each, um, over 600 miles each day, we're finally here. So tonight we get to relax, chill out, unpack our bags, and um, just finally eat dinner that's not in the car. And tomorrow we are setting up. So we have eight hours to set up tomorrow. I have not done a show in a long time, so I'm really anticipating we will not need eight hours. I really hope we don't. Um, but since it's been, oh my God, almost three years, we're going on almost three years that I've done a show, uh, this will be an adventure. So tomorrow we get to unload and get the booth set up, but for tonight, I am done. So we'll see you guys in the morning. It's Thursday, it is set up day. Um, my mom is still sleeping, I am up unreasonably early because that's who I am, but also because I have some homework to do. Because what better thing to do the morning before your class than to get your kids ready. So that's what I'm doing. We have arrived at the Gaylord and are not quite ready for, um, for unloading, but we will be very soon. But there is some water here, and as a dumb New Yorker, I'm just standing here waiting to see if there's any alligators. So if this is the last part of the video you see, it's because I got eaten by an alligator. Well, let's hope not. It's really pretty. There's a lot of birds. I don't see any alligators. So it's not quite time for us to set up, but I found an alligator, so let me show you. Look it, we found alligators. So it is time to unload. We are ready to start setting up the booth. So we have two carts here. This feels super weird because I'm used to a giant, like really big flatbed cart, but I also had a van. So we've got our first load. We've got the rest of our stuff here and it's just about time. We have like six minutes and we'll head in, start unloading. And I'm excited to see, well, I'm not excited, but I'm curious to see how long it's going to take us to set up our booth. Yeah. 
don't mind me, I am a giant mess, but our booth is all set up. It took us one hour and 23 minutes, which is unheard of. I think it actually took us almost as long to get our stuff in here, wait for tables, get all that kind of stuff going. So you can see behind me, some of the other vendors are setting up. I'm in vendor hall one, so we're open tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, and vendor hall two is not open until Saturday. Um, but I'm gonna give you a little tour of the booth now. So here is our booth much um much less product than normal definitely the same size it's still a double booth but we focused on cork as you can see there's a lot of cork and i brought samples i brought some earrings i did bring uh, lots of patterns and some zippers but mostly just cork i just really wanted to focus on the thing that we are really known for and the things that make sense so i brought lots of samples with me I brought the fun stripe zippers. I know there's a lot of bag vendors here that have zippers and poles and all sorts of things. So I just kind of focused on the things that make us special. So there is more cork and more zippers. And from back here, you can see, I think it looks pretty awesome. And my new sign with my QR code and my prices, templates. I'm gonna sneeze. Nope, I'm not. I made some earrings and I have some templates for my class tomorrow. And other than that, I just have to get the register ready and we are good to go. Good morning, it's Friday. It is 7.05 a.m. Yes, that's why it's still dark out. And we are heading to Starbucks and uh, then over to the convention center let the golf cart go by uh, so I can get ready for class and then vend and then I have the designer panel tonight so it's gonna be a long day that's why I need caffeine my first and only class for so magical starts in six minutes so I will show you when the class is full but they are coming in and like I said we got six minutes and then we're gonna make a wallet we're gonna make this one the daybreak so that's today's, today's project they're coming in for class. We start in six minutes. So this room should be full any second now. We loved it. <laughs> this is my very first zipper. First my zipper. very first working with Cork. She, the instructor, five star. <laughs> Phenomenal, the tinies. You guys heard Together it. Together forever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So it is 12 o'clock. We are like halfway through our vending day. I'm done with teaching. So I'm gonna take a quick walk around and we're gonna look at some of the vendors really quick. I can't leave for too long because our booth's been super busy. So let's go take a walk. So here is, this is vendor hall one. Uh, vendor hall two is not open until tomorrow. So we're just walking around. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa's on YouTube. She doesn't even know it. <laughs> So these are some of the vendors. If I get a chance, I will go back and take a look and talk to some people, but we have been slammed today. I think because it's the first day and because we're the only ones that are open, but there's quite a few vendors here. Tomorrow there will be even more. I haven't even gotten a chance to walk through and see everything, so I'm seeing it now. It did not look like this yesterday when I was here, so it's fun to see everybody all set up. <laughs> Lots of things to look at. Let's cut across and we'll go back down the other side. probably a good thing I'm staying in my booth because I think I will be spending a lot of money. That's cool. So much to look at. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but they just let me and there's my booth, still busy. And there's my mom, who's not going to want to be on camera, but 
Oh well. Let's see if I can get a wave out of her. Hi, mom. <laughs> all right. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Vending is all done. Uh, I came back to the hotel, got freshened up, and now I am heading back. Um, it's about five of six. So I'm heading back to the convention center to do the designer panel with a whole bunch of really cool people that I'm excited to meet and see. So hopefully lots of people show up and ask us questions. And then I will be done tonight around eight. So it's been a super long day, but it's been an amazing day. Vending today was fantastic. The booth was super crazy and busy the whole day. I'm getting on the elevator. Luckily no one's on here. So I, they don't see me talking to myself. Um, but uh, tomorrow, if we're not super busy again, which obviously I hope we are, I will try to get some of the vendor area um, downstairs for vendor area number two. So I'll see you later. It's 8.35, I am just getting back to the hotel, getting off the elevator now. Um, I just got done with the designer panel and oh my God, it was so much fun. I didn't get a chance because of the way that we were sitting and in the room we were in to like really get any video or pictures, but I think somebody took some um, pictures. So hopefully I can share that with you guys. What an amazing night, what a great, like awesome supportive group of people. So I am so glad I did it, but I am so tired and super hungry. So I'm gonna go eat my dinner now. Good morning, it's Saturday. It's day two of uh, vending. I'm not teaching today. The vendor hall opens in eight minutes and my booth is um, drastically smaller than it was yesterday. At least the Corex supply is. So I'm gonna take you for a little walk through the booth and then we'll see how today goes. So we came in a little bit early so that we could rearrange a little bit. We're already down a few bins. The cork is not as neat as it was. We sold some earrings. I've got some, uh, we started out with just the big bins of the full pieces. Now we've got some smaller ones going on because we did cut quite a bit, but we also sold quite a bit of the full pieces and a lot of zippers. There we there's uh, some of my free patterns. I kind of put those together because for the first time ever at a show, I can talk about my YouTube channel, which is crazy because I never could do that before. I gotta fix this little guy. You're always fixing all day long, fixing and adjusting everything. So there's the patterns. I did restock the patterns. We did have extras of those, but the cork is all out. So whatever we have, we have today and tomorrow. So if somebody wants cork, hopefully they grab what they want today. We have already sold out of a few. I'll fix this too. We've sold out of a few prints and colors. So we will see how today ends up, but this is everything. There's my neighbors and my mom <laughs> and my neighbor. So this is what it looks like before it opens. And I'll try to get some footage later when it's open. So we are sitting down for a quick break because there is a fashion show. And not that we don't want to go to the fashion show, but my mom and I are both really tired and hungry. So we decided to grab a snack and our snack is a ham sandwich, but they forgot to cut it. So what do I do? Use my box cutter. So for those of you who were laughing at me when I told you how many box cutters and knives and weapons are in my purse, it came in handy. Good morning. It is day three. It's the last day. It's Sunday. It is, I don't even know what time it is. It's 8.16. And I guess technically it's 9.16 since it's daylight savings. I'm not sure how long you get to use that excuse, but I'm going to use it for a while. So it's 8.16. We're just sitting in the car. We don't really have anything to do in the booth. So we're just hanging out, me and my mom. Say hi. Hello. So we're just sitting here drinking our coffee, eating our um, our breakfast, and then we're going to head in. And hopefully, hopefully we still have a good day. A lot of times the last day of the show is a little bit quiet, but um, hopefully it's still busy. I'm going to take a walk around Vendor Hall 2 at least, just because I didn't get to film any of that yesterday. And maybe I'll get to um, our, the rest of our Vendor Hall 2. One whatever. I have I've run out of words. So anyway, um, it's been a really fun experience. I can't wait to share with you guys when I get back. So I will be talking about So Magical on Facebook Live coming up this Friday. Hopefully this video is out first. If it's out second, then you'll have to look the week before. So today is the sixth. What's Friday's date? Past Friday? This coming Friday. 
<laughs> I have no idea. It's, it's November. The 11th. It's the 11th. So Friday the 11th Veterans Day. is Veterans Day. And I will be talking about So Magical. And I'm hoping that before Friday the 11th, this video will be up so you can see my experience and then we'll talk about it and some of the things that I didn't get to film too. So um, it's just, it's been awesome. It's warm down here, but you know, it's good. It's Florida. We only saw one little tiny alligator, which I guess in hindsight is probably better than seeing a lot of big ones. Um, but we're having fun. So today we are at the show until three, then we pack up and head back home tomorrow. So I'm Becky Hanna and I'm with Hannah Woodworking. This is my neighbor. I'm, I'm introducing you to my new neighbor. I guess I'm not with Hannah Woodworking. I am you Hannah. are. I am Hannah Woodworking. <laughs> and what does so, Hannah Woodworking do? What do they make? <laughs> well, I make, I make a lot of different things, but for this show, the focus was scene rippers. And so the scene rippers have, uh, they have a seam ripper head. Very cool. And then on the other end, they have a stiletto. Always need those. Yep. And, and you make all of these. I make everything like here. Everything here. Every single thing here. So these are seam rollers, and I make them in two different sizes. The regular um, roller, you know, length. And then this one that, you know, when people want a few or an extra inch on there. Um, yep, everything is handmade. And... And what is it made out of? Well, these ones are made out of wood. And the rest, well, these are resin and wood. So we call these hybrids. And everything is nice and smooth. You'll never feel like a transition from the wood to the resin. I can attest to that. I did buy some. <laughs> <laughs> and then everything else is um, resin. And there are some wood ones scattered in. But, so I turn everything on the lathe. Um, that's kind of how it looks. That's so cool. And uh, yeah, it's super fun. Um, I also sell pins and um, we have pattern weights over here. So what's been your big seller for this show? My big seller are the seam rippers. Seam rippers. People love seeing them in person and online. I take good pictures when I do them online. I sell everything on my website. But these have not been on the website yet and they're probably going to go on the website. Very cool. Um, these are super, super heavy. Um, these are resin with metal in the middle, so I weight them. Pattern weights. Awesome. Have Mickey's, um, Focus Focus, Nightmare Before Christmas, Stitch, Monster Zinc. Try to make a lot of different things all the houses and all that so what's yeah. your favorite thing to make my favorite thing is probably the seam rippers yeah. because when I turn it it never looks like what you think it's gonna look like on the outside so when I turn it down on the lathe and then get to see the final finish and color it's, it's exciting awesome is there anything else that you want people to know um no, check, out the check out the website I mean yeah I I always post on my Facebook um, when I put new things on the website. So if you want to look at my Facebook, Hannah Woodworking, no H at the end of Hannah, because it's my last name, so <laughs> H-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Woodworking. Um, I always post on there when I put new things on the website, and yeah, it, everything's unique and different, and it's a good time. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So this is our booth over here. Sorry, I just put a mint in my mouth, so of course it sounds like I am garbled. So that's our booth. We are selling a lot of cork. There's my mom, she's probably gonna be mad that I'm filming her. And that is Becky's booth, who we just talked to. And over here is Ray's booth. She is teaching and demoing today, so she's not around, but maybe I will catch her later. It's Sunday, so it's a little bit quieter. It's also first thing in the morning. It's like 9.40. Glitterbug Fairy. Do you mind if I record Please a little on your booth? It's not live. I can edit. <laughs> and can I, I ask you? Two. I might ask you a couple questions if that's okay. Sure. All right. Oh my goodness. This might have been a mistake to come in here. <laughs> Look at all this cool stuff. So there's where I am. 
that's a very, very cool, this is waterproof canvas, glow in the dark, oh my goodness, cork, vinyl, lots of fun vinyl. I will have to come back here when I'm not recording. Oh, and look at these. Yes, I am. That's, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. All right. Look at all this clear vinyl. Oh my goodness. Of course, Christmas theme. You can't go wrong. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's fun too. There's way too much good stuff in here. <laughs> you agree? Yeah, I <laughs> told me. So you're a customer of Glitterbug Fairy? Yes, I am. And you order from them online? All the time. And what were you just telling me about their vinyl? I, just you, I never have a problem with them and it holds, it holds up wonderful. I've and never had a problem. What are you buying now? I'm what do buying, you have there? Well, I'm buying the coffee beans because I'm making the purse cow. Cute. The coffee because we are coffee drinkers from New York. <laughs> I'm from coffee. New York too, not so that part of New York. We drink coffee. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. Coffee and we talk. <laughs> I'm Andy, this is Shanna, and you should do the rest of the talking. <laughs> <laughs> so we are Glitterbug Fairy, and our main product is going to be printed vinyl. We sell a ton of the printed gear. We probably came with a thousand rolls, and I think start of the third day, and we are down to maybe 200 left. Wow. So we're going to be wiped out for sure. We That's also awesome. have waterproof canvas. The well. We have some left. We sold out of the solid yesterday. We do have some printed still. We have clear vinyl. And then we have, I'm trying to look to see what else we have. <laughs> you have some very cool, um, some glitter vinyl and yeah. the clear vinyl is really neat too. Yeah. You have a very happy customer over there. Oh yeah. I already talked to her. <laughs> and we have a wide array of colors of glow in the dark vinyl as well. Yep, and we brought some regular matte vinyl. And we came all the way from Nebraska, by the way. Yeah. Is this your first time at So Magical? It's our second, second time. Second time. So you must like it enough that you oh, came all the way back. Here. We've already <laughs> registered for all her other shows, too. And awesome. Yeah. Yes, I'm signing up for two more. <laughs> yes, we love it. <laughs> all right, and where can everybody find you if they're not here? Glitterbugfairy.com. That's all I got to say. It. And, in our, <laughs> and in our Glitterbug Fairy Facebook group. Yes, join too. us on, on the group, too. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank Bye. you. All right, I am at Off the Wall Quilts. There's a sign over there, and who are we talking to? I'm Rick. Hi, Rick. Rick Luma. Um, I'm one of the co-owners with my wife, Julie, and our uh, facility is actually not too far from here in Sanford. Oh, very cool. And so we sell a lot of quilting notions, <clears throat> uh, rulers, uh, portable design walls, cool. uh, long, uh, quilting rulers, cutting rulers. Um, you have seam rippers too, right? Yes, yeah, I rippers. bought them from you. Oh, there they are. They're right next to me. I bought one from you in... I don't remember. One of these shows. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've done a lot of shows already this year. That's what Julie said. Yes. Yes. This what like number? 23rd or 24th. Oh my God. Count. <laughs> and how many more do you have? This is the last one. This is the last one. Okay. So you're done for the year. Yes. So what's been your big popular item here at So Magical? Um, let's see. Ruler Magic has been pretty popular there. And what is this? I haven't seen it before. You put that on your rulers and it adds a little tackiness to it so it they don't slip. Oh, so it works cool. on um, acrylic, metal, wood rulers and it works on cotton, leather, vinyl. So it'll help keep the ruler in place so as you're cutting or tracing around it. Wow, it well that's move. awesome. <clears throat> And if um, someone's not here and they can't come visit you, can they find you online? Yes. And at, where can they find you? At offthewallquilt.com. And is it with a, an S, off the wall quilts or quilt? Quilt. Quilt. Yeah. Off so, the wall quilt. Yeah. We got it right here. There we go. So you can go shop there or maybe we'll see you at one of the many shows you do next year. Yes. <laughs> yes. And will you be at So Magical? Yes, we'll be here, the one in Texas and the one in Tennessee. Awesome. So I guess you like So Magical. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Thank you. So that was pretty much all of Vendor Hall 1, and that's where I am. Again, so I am coming out of the other end. We're down on the far end that way. So we're going to walk this way and go down to Vendor Hall number 2. I'll show you the lounge and show you the little walk through the Gaylord, which is really, really pretty.
Hi, guys. You're not live, don't worry. Just <laughs> adding you onto a YouTube video. So, we are downstairs now. We're at vendor hall number two. So, this was open on Saturday and Sunday. We were open on Friday. There was a little hotel glitchy thing. You know how that goes. So, we're going to go through those doors and we're going to see if we can chat with a couple people um, and see what's going on in vendor hall number two. Hopefully, I don't spend too much money. Actually, I didn't bring any money with me. That's probably a good thing. So, let's go. All right. Lauren's booth. I think you all know who Lauren is and she is talking right now so I'm not going to interrupt her but if I get a second I will go over and chat with her. There is Nicole from Sonar also chit chatting so let's go see if we can walk around. <laughs> Look at her cool sign. I want a sign like that. You can take a photo. I got one of these because I had to, because it's so pretty. And look at all the vinyl. Lots of cool vinyl. See how pretty? Of course, because everything that Lauren has is beautiful. Look at these. I got some of this yesterday. Look at these pretty bags. More vinyl. I did get some yesterday. It is so soft. Like, I can't even explain how soft this is. Some cool zippers. Look at how cute. I shopped here yesterday. Right. And there she is. Hi. I'm Lauren. Who yes. <laughs> needs no introduction. No, but I do. She does. On my okay. trust me on my channel, they all know who you are. But <laughs> works. Yeah, I'm with Normie No. I um, love your sign, by the way. She surprised me with it. What a nice person you oh are. God. That's amazing. I was so thrilled. It's so cute. Yeah. Yes. So our biggest seller has been vinyl, followed by our exclusive 8x24 ruler. I bought one of those yesterday. Yeah. And then I had a nightmare that somebody broke on me. I don't know why. It was a very bad dream. Oh my gosh. Somebody <laughs> said earlier, this is my emotional support ruler. <laughs> and I, it's not wrong. No. But look at, I mean, just look at this. Oh. Like, it's glitter. It's rainbow. It's everything. Like, I want to take them all home. It's not too much glitter. It's not. No, you important. can still see through it. Yeah. When I talked to the manufacturer, I was like, we need to scale it back on the glitter. But not too much. It needs to be just the right amount of glitter. Yes. So it's still useful. I'm going to be really mad if anyone touches that because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I did buy some of your vinyl. I got some clear vinyl yesterday. And I think yeah. I got some waterproof canvas. Is there anything else? What What is BFT? Uh, Bamboo French Terry. Okay. So it's a clothing vinyl leather no fabric. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else anybody should know or where can they find you if they are not here shopping? Um, Warmino.com or the So Whatever Facebook group. Yeah, or I guess I have a YouTube channel too. I think you do. I think, I I think do. you might have a couple yes. followers. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for talking to me. 
Hi, new friend. Hello. <laughs> I know who you are, but tell everybody else who you are. Uh, my name is Nicole, and I am the designer and creator of Sonar Sewing Patterns. Awesome. And just in case you did not catch that, it's a little loud in here. Sonar. I love your name, by the way. Thank is you. Is there a story behind it? Um, there is. It all started out of me being a little brat. So I lived in Colorado, and we lived at the base of a ski mountain, and everybody was very heady there, and they would always talk about the powder being so gnarly. <laughs> so I just made fun of them, and uh, it was my personal Instagram handle, and then eventually it just became oh my, my business. It's, it's a great name. It's awesome. I love that there's a fun story behind it. <laughs> and of course it would be me being a brat. So. Well, it's totally fine. We all are. So what did you bring? You have patterns. Yep, so I brought my patterns. I have 12 patterns now. Um, I brought some acrylic templates. I have these fun little zipper templates that I designed. Very cool. Um, I brought some cork, which I would prepped on your website, and I brought the cork that you didn't have, I, best I could tell. I'm sorry, wait a minute. So, we, we just met each other. Yes. We, we just became best friends like two days ago. Yeah. And you were already on my website making sure that we weren't like stepping on each other's toes. I, yeah. how, how are you that awesome? Like... <laughs> Well, I mean, the, the table is big enough for all of us, and I knew that I wanted to bring what you didn't have so that we could send each other, you know, people. So, yeah. Yeah. That's that's why I like you. Oh, <laughs> that's why I felt this gravitational pull towards you instantly. You're We're just, both you're fun. Too, so. You are? I yeah. did not know that. I'm from Long Island originally. Oh, now I totally understand. I get this. I totally get it. Yep, the attitude, the loudness, the being a brat. Done. Not of us needed the microphone and no. the fire panel. Yeah. <laughs> It all makes sense. No, I think we were the first ones to get rid of the mic. Like, we literally dropped it. Not... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was... Um, yeah, didn't mean that. So do you have, like, one pattern or one style of cork that you think has been the most popular at this show, or has it been a little bit of everything? Um, hands down, the most popular cork is always, like, the rainbow unicorn cork, which I know that you have the big flecked rainbow. Yes, but I also got a piece of that because I've seen that on your channel, and I'm like, I love this cork. Yes, yeah, so the unicorn <laughs> cork, hands down, is always a favorite. Yeah. Um, and then as far as patterns go, I would say the mini box toe is probably... It's up there. My Serona is my newer pattern, and so that one's picking up. But really, my bread and butter and what I'm most known for, I would say, are my wallets, wallets. and my recessed card slot style. And you do the edge coating on all of your stuff. Yes. yes. I know you have videos on it. It is like perfection. Oh, I cannot nice. do this. This is why I don't do it. So if you want to learn how to edge coat, do not go to my channel. It's Get not, off of my channel. It's not that you're not good at it. You just haven't Enough. That is true, yes. I spent many, 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 many hours doing it. Yes, and you've kind of perfected your technique because it's what you like to do. Yeah. I think it looks great when you do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, hey, send them my way. Send them to you. <laughs> yep. So what's over here? So this is the other side of my business. Um, so whereas that's sonar sewing patterns, this is sonar. This is what started me out. And then what happened was people started asking me, hey, how did you make this? And so that launched my pattern business. But so this is my full-time job. This is all of my actual handcrafted pieces, and I do pop-up events and vending shows all around the region. And someone can come right here and pick this up and say, I want to buy this and take it home with them today. Yep, absolutely. That's so awesome. Wow, this is a lot of hours and hours of work. And this is a mini table. Normally I have a three table set up. I just really condensed it. So do you have more inventory waiting at home I or do. you just yeah. are constantly making? Oh, I'm always making. I'm in yeah. my studio. My, I have a home studio, so I'm just constantly in my studio all day, every day. And this is what I focus on more. Um, and then I do the patterns. I should be doing more time on the patterns. But uh, <laughs> yes, they, they kind of go hand in hand. Jack of all, master of none situation. I, I would disagree with that, but I will let you tell me that. Look at this. I mean, it is. This is an amazing cork. And look at some of these really cool prints. I don't have these prints. They're very cool. Well, and unfortunately, all the prints um, are discontinued now. So oh, I'm no. Really with them. I just use them as panels or like on the outside of wallets because all of the prints are gone. So it's just going to be the solids and kind of the textures and sparkles exactly. and things. Yep, exactly. Right. Well, if you need prints, I have a place I could send you. I'm yeah, just saying. I'll have to so. check you out. I'll have to check you out. <laughs> well, thanks for chatting. Yes, thanks for coming by. <laughs> All right. Anytime you're ready. All right. Hi, my name is Candace Valla. I run Valla Creative Designs. 
we do look um, at this sign <laughs> our biggest focus is on uh, custom design hardware mostly zipper pulls and then we also design fabrics and other things to kind of go along with it to accent it so um, people really enjoy having that pair of fabric to go with the zipper pulls um, but we have a ton of different varieties we focus on non-inspired highly detailed stuff I can attest to that. I have bought a lot on this website, and if you haven't, you should go right now. <laughs> ValaCreativeDesigns.com or come to the Vala Creative Designs Facebook group and get notified. Tell us um, one more time. I want to make sure they hear. What's your website? ValaCreativeDesigns.com awesome. and Vala Creative Designs a Facebook group. You can come join and get all of the details and all of the updates on when we're running things and all that good stuff. Awesome. We also have, you know, some little one-offs that we buy here and there and offer on the site. So we have some fun little things actually went really fast these little peacock scissors oh they're so cute um lauren morbino bought the or uh, the rainbow ones and then everyone saw them and came over and sold me out so <laughs> she does that i've heard <laughs> yeah and then i have all kinds of vinyl rolls the vinyl rolls are 18 inches and they're only 15 dollars today so there's tons of beautiful ones awesome but yeah all right. Has there been any like one particular thing you've been selling a lot of or just kind of a mix? It's really people are enjoying the mix and match that I'm offering of the zipper pulls because we are actually opening the prepackaged ones and we're letting people build their own pack of five. Wow. So a pack of five zipper pulls is only $7 here and you can mix and match whatever ones you want. And if they're already prepackaged, we've been cutting them open and letting people get whatever they want. So okay. Well, that's awesome. Everybody's been digging through the boots and having a lot of fun. It's like a scavenger hunt. So that's been like the highlight of the booth. Very cool. Have you been at So Magical before? We have not. This is our first one. Um, we just started a couple of years ago and just missed last year's. And so we decided we wanted to try this year's. And Awesome. So far, it's going pretty well. So we're, we're doing some lessons learned for next year, but I think we'll definitely be back. Very cool. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm going to shop now. <laughs>All right, I will definitely be going back there. I'm gonna finish filming the rest of the vendors, but I will be spending a lot of money there. Their zipper poles are amazing, amazing quality. And they've got some vinyl, which I have just accumulated a lot of because it's so pretty. So let's see who else is here. Heartwood and Hyde. Everybody knows this name. I'm not live, we're okay. doing a compilation video. Can I talk to you for a few sure, minutes? Sure. All right, so I know that my followers know who you are, but just in case, can you tell us who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure, uh, I'm Chris. I work uh, with, at Hartwood & High with my wife, Jade. Uh, many of you know her, uh, but we do custom uh, labels, uh, custom bag tags engraved and color printed on cork, leather, and faux leather. Look at all this. So people can send their logo and you make it into a really cool bag tag? Correct, yes. We do have a uh, custom bag tag wait list right now for well, their design consultation, but that is a one-time thing for each new customer. Once you go through uh, the wait list and we get to you, we work with you on your design, and we, uh, we send pictures and we do test tags so you can see what it looks like on actual material. Then after that, reorders are easy. It only takes the production time, and you never have to be on the wait list again. But right now, full disclosure, we are at about four plus months for the wait list. Well, that just means you're doing a really awesome job. So there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I know a lot of people that use your tags. I have not gotten to see them in person, but wow, they are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes. Is this your first time at So Magical? First time vending. We, we attended last year here. Okay. First time vending ever or just vending at So ever. Magical? Ever. ever. Yep. So why did you want to come here? What was oh, the draw for you? Working with Kayla and uh, having you know the exposure to uh, the whole community is, has been wonderful. It's been very beneficial. We signed up last night to come back to this one next year. Me too. <laughs> and we're talking about doing possibly doing the other uh, cities next year as well. Oh, very cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Look at all this stuff. We are at Impish. I think I was here yesterday. They all blur together. Yes, I was. I remember these zipper pulls. Cool stuff. So there is 
the stage. That's for demos, and that is Ray. She is actually my neighbor. Um, I didn't get a chance to talk to her in her booth. Maybe I will afterwards, but she is doing a demo. Not sure what it's on, but it looks like templates possibly. So I'll have to ask her later exactly what she's doing. Oh, but that's my zipper tape that she's holding right there. <laughs> That's really funny. She is holding my zipper tape and talking about something. <laughs> She's having a great time. We'll get a chance to talk to her later. <clears throat> We've got custom fabric. <clears throat> Origami owl. Ooh, custom jewelry. Very pretty. Your stuff is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Cutter pillar. And there is Saya Swag, but I think she is teaching a class, so she's not here right now. But we can still go look at her stuff. Maybe we can grab somebody to talk to us. Look at this thread. Oh my goodness. And there's Nova. How are you doing today? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> We're not live. Don't worry. <laughs> We're making a little so compilation. Edit it so I look really we can skinny. edit it so, yes. And you're, I mean, Oh, you're perfect. <laughs> I want to be like skinny curvy. <laughs> like I'm wearing Spanx on at least. <laughs> <laughs> I will do the best that I can. No, it's fine. I like to be 100% No, but don't you have a YouTube channel? That's so Nova. That's so Nova. Mm -hmm. And we talked yesterday and you got some of my cork and one of my patterns and maybe, maybe we'll, we'll work together. Or we're talking, we're talking about it. You might see something. You might. This month. It possibly. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. And um, can I, let me see your shirt. Oh yeah. In case you haven't seen this. You need to know. You need to know that Laura Marmino is sloppy and professional, but we love her anyway. Oh yeah, my nose are on not painted either, so yeah. <laughs> You know, if you know. If you know, you, are, you know. You know. <laughs> I chip my nail polish on purpose, too. <laughs> like, let's do this. Look, oh. at these, look at these pins. I want, I want like 80 of these. I know, because they're <laughs> hot pink and they're beautiful. Like the stitch? Nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, exactly. All right, we got to bring more stuff home. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I ran into some more of my friends, so let me introduce you. Let me let them introduce you. Let, we'll start here. Who do we have here? I'm Kathy Cadell, and I'm from K. Dill Handmade. K. Dill, and is this one of your bags? This is. This is the Nuga bag. I love it. So awesome. Waist bag or crossbody or sling. And where can they find you? Website, social media? Yep, website. I have Instagram, and it's at K. Dill Handmade. Website is kdillhandmade.com. And then I have a Facebook um, makers group, which is k -Dill Bags and Makers. Awesome. Hello. Hi. And who do we have here? I'm Alexis Schmidt. I'm from Oral Rosa Patterns. I'm the designer and owner. And you can find me at oralrosapatterns.com or the Facebook group Oral Rosa Patterns Show Off Group. And are you carrying a bag with you I today? Am. This is my next launch. What? Uh, end of November. This is the Mini Alice. It's adorable. We got to see it first. <laughs> <laughs> so the end of November? End of November. All Probably right. Thanksgiving weekend. U.S. Thanksgiving weekend. Awesome, awesome. Oh, that's right. You are Canadian, so Thanksgiving's not a thing for you. Ours isn't. No, no, we've had Thanksgiving. <laughs> you, you already did yours. Gotcha. And last but not least, hi. I'm Kristen Marshall Graves. I'm from KMG Handmade. Um, my site is kmghandmade.com. <laughs> Instagram, KMG Handmade. Um, Facebook page is KMG Handmade. Facebook group, KMG handmade bag makers and show off group awesome and, and what are you carrying i'm i am carrying the pattern i wish i would have written <laughs> this is Lindsay's, um, crystal convertible oh and my goodness love it. Um, all right so have you guys gone crazy buying things at the show what yes. what's your what's your like most favorite thing that you got alexis has hers with her from 
just uh, so awesome supplies. Oh my god, that is, I saw that the other night and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. 11 different colors. What did you buy? Um, I bought a couple, a couple rulers that were really cool and then just the de-stash bags. Like, there's some amazing deals over there. I got yards of fabric for like 50 cents, a dollar. Like, it's crazy. So, yeah, I need awesome. another bag to go home. <laughs> What'd you get? What'd I get? Oh, well, I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first one. No shame in that. No shame. I'm frugal, okay? <laughs> so the D-Stash Bash was awesome for me, too. I was able to find um, at least three yards of this beautiful floral um, print and uh, was lucky enough that the person working, working the table, it was her fabric. So she also bought all of the patterns that she was going to make with that fabric and I got those for like 25 cents a piece. Oh my god. Great. That's awesome. Um, and what are you holding there? This is Lauren's uh, 8 by 24 yeah. ruler. Turn that around so we can see. So, I've already showed this off but I'm going to keep showing it. This is exclusive to So Magical Expo. She doesn't have it on her shop yet. Yeah. Um, and she's not sure she'll be shipping them so I don't the blame her to get up. yes I did get one uh, trust me I wanted to get one and share it with the world but I'm not shipping that either no. I am not gonna be responsible for that being shipped <laughs> right? yeah. so, I'm so yeah. glad I ran into you guys thank you bye guys all right last but not least the last booth that I got to stop at I am here with somebody you guys might recognize, but just in case, just in case they don't know, who are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Kasaya. My company is Saya Swag, and I do a couple of different things. I have a YouTube channel, also named Saya Swag, where Crazy. I teach um, people how to walk through bag making videos mainly for the most part. And then I have also started selling products for your bag making needs. Especially my specialty is the thread. And what do we have here? Like what are these, these are some big cones. These are big cones, so um, there's two different weights. There's text forty five okay. and text seventy. It's all bonded polyester thread, which is amazing for bag making. Um, I when I first started I noticed there was a need for this. It's super hard to find this type of thread and a variety of colors. Like if you find it, there's usually just like five colors that you can choose from. Um, so I went through a long process of finding a product that I love. And I love this thread. It is amazing. Is it only for industrial? No. Um, we do have a list, which I will be posting on my Facebook group. Uh, we took a survey and asked people, what kind of machine do you have? Which weight of thread do you use? And can you use it in top or bottom or both? And for the most part, we had a lot of people say they use the Tex 45 in their domestic machines and the Tex 70 in their industrials, which is exactly why I have the two weights. And you have both of those in, in all the colors? Yes, yes. I do, and I have this beautiful rainbow variegated I love thread. That one. Look at that. This is, um, I designed this one myself. It's a combo of five of the colors I carry. Um, That's awesome. And I mix them together to make this gorgeous rainbow. It's called Celestia. It is my favorite. It's on that fanny pack in the front. Let's go take a so look. I mean, come on. Look at that. <laughs> rainbow hardware, it's nice, simple vinyl, and look at that. It's perfect. It's perfect. We're going to have to bring some of that home. Hi. So, where can everyone find you aside from YouTube? Do you have a website? We can I have order a thread. website. It's Saya Swag Bags. Dot com. Awesome. No www in front of it. Um, I have Instagram, Saya Swag Bags. It's all right here. Instagram, I have a Facebook page and my YouTube. So four different ways to find me. Awesome. And I do carry other things than just thread. I carry a ton of bag hardware as well. Okay. I just couldn't cart it all the way to Florida. It is a lot of stuff. <laughs> so do you way. think there's any one thing or one color that's been like the thing at the show? The rainbow. The rainbow. I mean, how can it not be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that one's been a hit. Awesome. And you taught a class today? Yes. Yes. What did you teach today? I taught the poppy purse. I'm like, is there one here? No, I don't think so. That's I taught right. the poppy purse. It's by SoFlow Designs. Awesome. And I taught one yesterday as well, and it was a super fun class. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for taking some time. Of course. All right. Bye. Bye. It's about 10 to 3, so we are just about done. I look ragged and tired because I am. 
um, but in a really good way. It's been an amazing show, and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to talk about it live on Facebook. I'm hoping that this video is up before the 11th, which is this upcoming Friday, because that's when I wanna show you the things that I bought and just talk about like all the things that happened. So I'm gonna set up the phone, and we're gonna record Teardown, and we're gonna see which took us longer. So it took us an hour and 23 minutes to set up. My mom thinks, you think under an hour, right? You think hour? All right, she thinks like an hour. So we're gonna see, um, I think it's gonna be about the same as set up, so like an hour and a half. We're gonna see who's right. Um, but I'm gonna set this up and in 10 more minutes, we're going to tear it all down and uh, head home in the morning. So we'll see how this goes. I'm still recording myself. Are you? Yeah, I didn't even know it. <laughs> Just setting up a tripod, really interesting. Forty-two minutes. It's hot in Florida. It is 84 degrees and it is 351. Car is packed. We are done. So magical is over. I'll see you guys at home. I am home from Florida. Um, I'm not even going to apologize because this is just what I look like. I did shower. I just might not look like it. Uh, so I took the day off just to hang out, do some computer work. I have like a billion emails I need to go through just trying to get caught up before I go to the shop tomorrow and do like real work, um, work aside from the computer. So I'm just home today, um, replenishing cork and updating the website and uploading this video. And I realized afterwards that I had not, um, done an intro or an outro to the video. So I figured uh, it's too late to do the, the intro, but I might as well do a little conclusion for you. So I will be talking about this on this Friday's upcoming Facebook live. That would be Friday, the 11th, 2022. I don't know when you'll be watching this. So I will definitely be talking about um, some other things that I couldn't include in the video, things that I didn't get to film, um, all of the stuff that I bought because I did buy some things. Tomorrow I will unpack my car and find all of those things so I will have them for Friday. Our virtual retreat is coming up so I will pretty much be camped out here um, Friday all the way through to the end of the weekend um, and I'm sure we will be talking about it even more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time. This is the first time I ever got to do something like this and you know film content for my YouTube channel. Something I never could have said um, or never could have done before when I used to do shows. So it was really interesting to just kind of, you know, film the whole thing and tell people it's for my YouTube channel because I didn't have one of those the last time I vented. My last show was March of 2020 in Daytona Beach. So it has been almost three years. And this show was above and beyond anything I could have expected. And it was very different from the last shows that I did. Um, so I'll talk about that more on Facebook for sure. But I'm going to wrap this up because I have a bagel waiting for me. And I'm going to go finish up this video and get it uploaded for you. So I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.